Hi. I went ahead and made a note up here of the uh, energy diagram for an atom and put up on the board magnesium 2 plus ion. So magnesium, the element, has 12 electrons, 12 total electrons. And the 2 plus charge means that magnesium, the atom, has lost two electrons. So underneath here, let me make a little note that what we're dealing with is a 10 electron system. Now this is for a ground state exercise, meaning that the electrons fill from the bottom up. Let's go ahead and put 10 electrons into our system. Two of electrons will be found in the spherical, small spherical, 1s orbital. Another couple of electrons will be found in the slightly larger 2s atomic orbital. Now we're going to follow Hund's rule here, meaning we're going to take the next three electrons and put them into degenerate orbitals. Degenerate meaning they have the same energy. One will be going in a 2p, one of these peanut orbitals that's maybe oriented front to back. One of these like top to bottom and one of these left to right. But we're not finished yet. I only have a total of seven. So we'll finish up our ten just like this. Another way to go about this problem may have been don't subtract the two electrons before doing this. Put all 12 electrons into this diagram. Call this magnesium and then see what magnesium is going to do. Magnesium is going to lose these electrons up here. I'll put an X through there going, hey, these aren't there anymore. It's magnesium 2 plus. It's easy to see the chemistry here because these electrons are beyond the filled valence shell right there. I just put two lines up on the board separating principal quantum number one from two and principal quantum number two from three. There is great stability in having this region completely filled and nothing up above. Magnesium has lost two electrons. It's become smaller and more stable as magnesium two plus.